live out here on Bourbon Street. What do you think? It's crazy and loud. It's cold. <laughs> it's a lot like Vegas. But better. Way better. So Bourbon Street so far is a lot like Vegas, but just a little more lively and a little more culture. Put this around. We love it so far. It's been great. It's been awesome. We're having a good time with our friend Trey and Nicole. Let's see what the weekend has to bring. So cozy? You look cozy. You look rich. I look rich. <laughs> <laughs> the whole damn seal. <laughs> I'm, I'm proud to say I think this is like one of the funniest ways to start for Oh, yeah. Suck How dick. many are you getting? I mean, two dicks. One for Trey, one for me. Yeah. Hey, flip me off! Oh, okay. <laughs> hey! I Shit. <laughs> they tend to make their way down here in October. Oh. Nesting Ain't season is in January. They usually house is where many young Cajuns first learn to read at. That's where they kept the bag. Can you see that two turtles on the log off the left side here? I'm glad to see they made it out here. And I'll kind of give you a heads up when we get into that area so we start to keep an eye out for them and stick them on the boat here with us. Just like to let you know before the tour is over with, we're gonna have us wow. an alligator board the boat here today. And depending on how big he is, we will just chillin'. 
the bigger the two that you see out here, he's probably got about. That's huge. And they've got to pick the tough spot because they have the stay out there most of the day. Wow. Oh wow, that looks fake. Hold the baby. <laughs> what is that? That's Chicken? Like the size of oh, wait, hold on, is that it? What are we getting? So we're gonna get 
get the seafood okra gumbo, and then we're gonna split the Creole combination platter, which is shrimp, jambalaya, red beans, and rice. This should be pretty good. Our first taste of Cajun cuisine on this trip, so I'm excited. Oh, I can see it. Lafayette Cemetery. Yeah. And look at the houses. It's like the houses from Lady and the Tramp. Look at this one. If you think the houses are nice, wait till you see the plot I'm picking for myself. <laughs> Phenomenal. <Stop. laughs> I have a group on for a plot here, so let's see if we got the two for one special so we can just get it out of the way before we're eating. The rink. Let's go to the rink. <laughs> Anyways, we saw um, the same people from our ghost tour last night. Yeah, they were So I fun. guess we have the same itinerary. Anyway, see you later. Why of course? <laughs> well, of course it's close. We're doing repairs. But it's okay. I'm just gonna go see our dear friend, Sandy. This is Sandra Bullock's house. This is from her Miss Congeniality money. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's hers and that's hers. Oh, that's it. Hers comes with a salad. Oh, okay. Oh. an hour on the road and looking at nothing but swamps <laughs> we're finally here the bayou at oak alley plantation <laughs> okay that's not the front these are the slave houses which we're gonna look at later on our way back so there's two families in one house because there's two doors Informative, but if you're on a tour, FYI, don't ask bajillion questions because now we're left with 30 45 minutes to explore the ground. Pro tip <laughs> if they don't tell you it's original, it's not original to the house. Yeah, don't keep asking if this is original, <laughs> if this is original. Fuck, it's like 200 years ago. Yeah, that's um, how long the tour took, too. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to the Civil War tent. So. Richard, Richard Taylor commanding. Oh wow. That wouldn't be for a regular mm -hmm. soldier. Regular soldier would be sleeping on the ground in a cot. It wouldn't have any kind of coverage or tent. It says general. So Yeah, so he's his general, that's why he's got a bed, he's got a trunk, he's got firewood, he's got all that stuff. But if it was someone else in the military, like a regular soldier in a the militia, they'd just be sleeping on the floor without any coverage or amenities. So children washes their clothes. Because my grandma cooks in the fire and that big pot. Tastes better.
That was an emotional tour. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, we would like to thank Abraham Lincoln for freeing human beings from slavery. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really gut wrenching and really hits you when you're reading the names of human beings that were here and suffered under the cruelty of slavery. And I don't know, I've never, reading it in the history books and stuff. And, and being here and, and seeing what they saw and feeling what they felt, and it hits differently. If you yeah. guys ever have the chance to come to the South, please do yourself a favor, brush up on the history of the South and, and the cruelties of slavery and, and see it for yourself. It's, it's different when you're here yeah. than seeing it in the movies. And you can't imagine like five-year-old shackled because they're punished. And it's really sad. But it's a beautiful tour, it's a beautiful place, but it's a sad place to, to live, probably in the 1800s. Alright, time to go shopping! Try to cheer up. <laughs> I saw people. Baby. Huh. What do you have? So apparently it's a Louisiana tradition to pin a dollar to yourself or for someone to pin a dollar <laughs> to you for your birthday. So I had no idea, so let's see if I can get 13 bucks back to pay for this alcohol. That'd be great. <laughs> It's a, oh, it was a great <laughs> tour. Really, it's really pretty, really beautiful. But when you go to the slave quarters, oh my god, it's super emotional, right, baby? Yeah, I, uh, I was good, and uh, I was fine until we started reading the names and saw the prices of people being sold, and ages, and what their skills were, and it's horrible. It really is. <laughs> Come and visit it. It's fun. It's informative. And um, let's not repeat history, guys. When That's you, just so bad. When you visit places like this, you make sure that those people are not forgotten. Because every time you visit, it provides this place some money that keeps their names on the wall. So. Oh, good boy. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Wow, oh, that looks good. Can I eat that? Seafood etouffee, guys. Yeah, eat now. Did you like your birthday I, lunch? I did like my very haunted, scary birthday lunch. It's delicious. <laughs> you like that, huh? Kind of creeped me out a little bit. <laughs> Courtyards, and this is the pharmacy museum where the first ever pharmacist lived, and the first ever pharmacy is downstairs. Ain't that right, baby? That's right. The more you know. Oh. <laughs> I can't feel my feet. No. <laughs> Let's go. Who's checking out all the peppers? Look at their faces. 
Thank you. 